Hi, this is Shorty, and I am here with the Complete Book of the Zodiac, and today we are talking about Venus and Libra. So make sure you take the time to calculate your sign for Venus. You and Nature. The question for you with Venus and Libra is not how to surround yourself with love, but how to make more of the love that already constantly surrounds you. When you complain that you feel unwanted, rejected, or uncared for, it has much the same ring as an actress stepping back from the stage after her fourth standing ovation of the evening in tears because one newspaper has savaged the show. But you can choose to hear genuine applause and ignore nitpicking criticism, partly by employing physiological or psychological techniques and partly by simply allowing your ultimate asset, the will to survive, to guide you through life. In nature, it's always persistence that most inspires you. When grass forces a crack in a concrete driveway, when fresh buds appear on the stump of a tired old oak, or when you sense the sun waiting patiently for a chance to appear fleetingly through a gap in the clouds, your spirits rise. In love, in partnership, and in creativity, you simply have to apply the same refusal to be beaten. For almost invariable, what defeats you will not become an unconquerable problem, but the fear of defeat itself. Conquer that, and the love that perpetually surrounds you will never take long to step forward and make its presence felt. You and your creativity. You are good at everything you try your hand at, so you never know what you ought to be doing whether you ought to be doing this on one hand or that on the other. Not only are you ambidextrous when it comes to creativity, you're double jointed. Thus, you're able to give yourself the most physically demanding of accolades, the pat on the back. Blessed as you are with a fertile imagination, you can in envision envisage before you even lift a finger. The thumbs up that your work is likely to get. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> so you finish before you start, deciding that as you already triumphed in your mind, you may as well try your hand at some other challenge. If you, if you were barefoot of this talent, this capacity to be your own worst enemy might be your best friend. But as Venus in Libra is one of the most precious planetary gifts that a person can be handed, it's a shame. Others accomplish far more with less. Your talents could be winning you a big hand from an admiring audience, plus earning you cash in hand and allowing you to win the game of life hands down. But first you have to put your hands up and admit that a bit more self-discipline would come in handy. Probably the best way to achieve this is to form some kind of creative partnership. If you can work hand in glove with an expert at the skill complementary to your own, you will probably feel much more inspired to buckle down. You and romance. To have Venus and Libra is wickedly sensual and wildly indulgent in every opportunity. It goes without saying that you're hot stuff between the sheets. What's more remarkable is how you manage to fill the rest of the time obtaining paroxysms of pleasure from seemingly insuous activity. Where some people might, for example, make themselves a quick sandwich when they feel hungry, few disappear into the kitchen and come back with a gourmet creation. Where some might sink into a hot bath after a long day, you submerge yourself in a cocktail of oils and essences. Where others give their appearance a quick once over in the mirror, you will preen yourself to perfection, departing from the bathroom reluctantly with the sad thought that you won't see the quite lovely, at see anyone quite so lovely until the next time you look in the mirror. You think a lot of yourself, and that's precisely why others think such a lot of you. You're a living refutation of the theory that self-praise is no recommendation. To the contrary, you believe there is no point in a sundial in the shade. You shamelessly flaunt your assets and rudely ignore your own bad points, and most people absolutely adore you for it. 
they like you even more because you are similarly uncritical about them in return. Assuming, reasonably enough, that anyone who appreciates you must be worth liking in return. There are, of course, a few who remain singularly unimpressed by what they consider your lack of modesty. But as these rather snooty characters tend to go out of their way to keep you out, tend to go out of their way to keep out of your way, you rarely have to be reminded of their existence. Nor need you be. With Venus in its home sign of Libra, it's safe to bet that you really are every bit as wonderful as you think you are. The way you manifest your femininity. You are a creator of illusions, a weaver of dreams, a tiller of windmills, an architect of castles in the air. The rainbows you chase, however, you usually catch because your Venus position is a heavenly gift and not a cosmic curse. You can make ordinary things look incredibly special. You can turn mundane rooms into eclectic pleasure domes. And you can make yourself look like a million dollars, not necessarily by dressing cleverly, but by summoning cer a certain sparkle in your eyes and subtly adjusting the way you walk or even talk. A potential partner can take one look at you and decide you're full of promise. You may be, but whether that promise comes true depending on whether those suitors are buying into your image or tuning into your true personality. Your dream is of a partner who is strong, true, and straightforward. Somehow, though, if you're not careful, you end up with complicated characters who mistake your ability to reflect their hopes as an ability to fulfill them. Ideal woman. Ideal mate. Divine feminine, I'd like to call it. They say it's a partner's prerogative to change their mind. You might find that a appealing, but you'd prefer to go one better and get one who frequently changes their mind, their entire personality. One moment you want a free spirit beckoning you towards the hayloft with a wild seductive gaze of passion, the next a studious companion looking up knowingly from a textbook on law, engineering, or quantum mechanics. They need to be as likely to cook your dinner, light your pipe, pour your drink, and fetch your slippers one evening as to drag you on the next to the next series of nightclubs where you'll dance nonstop until dawn. The only next thing you expect to be consistently is them to be consistently radiantly graceful. It is a tall order for any real life partner to live up to, but if you want anyone to come close, you could try looking at your own behavior and deciding to make it lighthearted and flexible enough to inspire an existing partner to be at their best. Okay, so all of you who have Libra, Venus and Libra, this is what I've got for you. I hope that you found it helpful and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. You might also want to check out your moon sign. So I would just like to let all of you know that I do love you.